A sedentary lifestyle is a type of lifestyle involving little or no physical activity. A person living a sedentary lifestyle is often sitting or lying down while engaged in an activity like reading, socializing, watching television, playing video games, or using a mobile phone, computer for much of the day. A sedentary lifestyle can potentially contribute to ill health and many preventable causes of death. Screen time is a modern term for the amount of time a person spends looking at a screen such as a television, computer monitor, or mobile device. Excessive screen time is linked to negative health consequences. Topic: History Over the last hundred years, there has been a large shift from manual labor jobs e.g. farming, manufacturing, building to office jobs which is due to many contributing factors including globalization, outsourcing of jobs and technological advances specifically Internet and computers. In 1960, there was a decline of jobs requiring moderate physical activity from 50% to 20%, and one in two Americans had a physically demanding job, while in 2011 this ratio was one in five. From 1990 to 2016, there was a decrease of about one-third in manual labor jobs, employment. In 2008, the United States American National Health Interview Survey found that 36% of adults were inactive, and 59% of adult respondents never participated in vigorous physical activity lasting more than 10 minutes per week. According to a 2018 study, office-based workers typically spend 70–85% sitting. In the U.S. population, prevalence of sitting watching television or videos at least 2 HD was high in 2015-2016 ranging from 59% to 65%. The estimated prevalence of computer use outside school or work for at least 1 HD increased from 2001 to 2016 from 43% to 56% for children, from 53% to 57% among adolescents, and from from 29% to 50% for adults, and estimated total sitting time increased from 2007 to 2016 from 7.0 to 8.2 HD among adolescents and from 5.5 to 6.4 HD among adults. <laughs> Health effects Effects of a sedentary work life or lifestyle can be either direct or indirect. One of the most prominent direct effect of a sedentary lifestyle is an increased BMI leading to obesity. A lack of physical activity is one of the leading causes of preventable death worldwide, at least 300,000 premature deaths, and $90 billion in direct health care costs are caused by obesity and sedentary lifestyle per year in the U.S. alone. The risk is higher among those that sit still more than five hours per day. It is shown to be a risk factor on its own independent of hard exercise and BMI. People that sit still more than 4 hours per day have a 40% higher risk than those that sit fewer than 4 hours per day. However, those that exercise at least 4 hours per week are as healthy as those that sit fewer than 4 hours per day. Indirectly, an increased BMI due to a sedentary lifestyle can lead to decreased productivity and increased absenteeism from necessary activities like work. Missing work and not being productive results in obvious short-term and long-term effects like less income and job security. A sedentary lifestyle and lack of physical activity can contribute to or be a risk factor for Solutions <inaudible> 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 As a response to concerns over health and environmental issues, some organizations have promoted active travel, which seeks to promote walking and cycling as safe and attractive alternatives to motorized transport. 
Additionally, some organizations have implemented exercise classes at lunch, walking challenges among co-workers, or allowing employees to stand rather than sit at their desk during the workday. Workplace interventions such as alternative activity workstations, sit-stand desks, promotion of stair use are among measures being implemented to counter the harms of sedentary workplace environments. A Cochrane Systematic Review published in 2016 concluded that, "...at present there is very low quality evidence that sit-stand desks can reduce sitting at work at the short term." There is no evidence for other types of interventions. Also, evidence was lacking on the long term health benefits of such interventions. Similarly, a recently published review concluded that interventions aimed at reducing sitting outside of work were only modestly effective. Organizations may also offer cholesterol or blood pressure screenings to employees. Topic. Workplace initiatives to address employee health Workplace initiatives are practices and programs sponsored by employers to promote employee health, and in turn, reduce insurance costs for the employer. Multiple studies have been done on the effectiveness of healthy workplace initiative programs. Programs can be focused on either weight reduction, or prevention of further weight gain and may include a wide variety of methods such as health care screenings, smoking cessation programs, discounted gym, fitness memberships, ergonomic controls standing desks, ergonomic keyboards, wellness classes, providing healthy food at meetings and employee events, stocking vending machines with healthy options, and surgical intervention. Due to the wide variety of work environments, and inconsistent habits and lifestyles of individuals across different workplaces, these studies have not been conclusive regarding the effectiveness of these type of programs on BMI. However, other associations have been linked between workplace initiatives and outcomes such as increased work productivity or a decrease in the amount of sick days. Topic. See also 9 to 5 Active transportation Childhood obesity Exercise trends Laziness Neurobiological effects of physical exercise Simple living Sloth deadly sin Workaholic Lack of physical education